Hello, friends. We're continuing on our devotional series on the I Am, the Yahweh names of God. And today, I want us to examine the compound name Yahweh Elohim, the I Am who is God. Remember, we've looked at the Elohim names. The Elohim was just the name uh, in, in Hebrew that means God. And we've looked at that in previous devotions and I encourage you to go back to them. But today we're looking at Yahweh Elohim. And we find this in the, in the first chapter of Genesis. Two different names in Genesis occur for God. There is God Elohim and Yahweh. In Genesis, the first chapter, God is exclusively referred to by the name Elohim, God. However, when it gets to Genesis chapter 2, and especially when it's talking about people, uh, the, this, this new name, this compound name, Yahweh Elohim, the I am God, shows up. Elohim, as we've said, is the name for God. In Hebrew, it means God. And it's used when talking about God as a concept. Elohim is translated as God in English Bibles. Uh, and, and the name is often used in context of God as a creator. It emphasizes God is awesome in His power, and He's a majestic, glorious Creator. Yahweh, which is translated in English Bibles as the Lord, is God's personal name, and is used in the context of God having a relationship with His people. When God goes about creating humanity, it is Yahweh who is involved in this act. When the Lord is personally involved with His people, the Scriptures tend to use the name Yahweh. Yahweh is the proper designation. And in our English Bibles, Yahweh is translated as Lord in capitals, uh, as we've come to know. And the first thing that young Jewish children are taught is what is called the Shema. It's a prayer they pray in the mornings and the evening. And it starts with this, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our Elohim, our God, Yahweh the One. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is One. So when we place these two words together, Yahweh and Elohim, they proclaim that the awesome God, the unoriginated God, the supreme, powerful creator God in all his splendor is the same ever present, glorious covenant maker who has come to redeem his people. He is God, this beautiful person in two different names ministering to two different realities of who he is, a creator and a redeemer. In Deuteronomy 4 verse 35, he says these, You were shown these things so that you might know the Lord. Yahweh is God, Elohim. And besides Him, there is no other. Acknowledge and take to heart that this day the Lord is the God in heaven, above and on the earth below. The Lord, Yahweh, is Elohim. That's the concept that you find many times in Scripture. So demonstrating that there is this one God who we celebrate as both creator and redeemer, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the ending. It all points us back to Jesus who created all things and who has paid for everything to be redeemed. In one person, the fullness of God dwells in human form and dwelt while Jesus was on the earth. He came to accomplish the eternal purposes of God. And having been the one who created all things, he then became the begotten. And now he sits as the only redeemer. Awesome in power, perfect in nature, wondrous in his works. He exists forever as the creator, redeemer of all mankind. And as all blessedness is found in Him, the most amazing part of this whole story is that God invites you and He invites me to come and know Jesus, to sup with Him, to seek Him out, to get to know Him. So I want to encourage you today to seek Him out. There is nothing that you could imagine that is beyond the scope of His power, and there is nothing that you could have done that is beyond the scope of His redemption. If we seek His face and favor, you will be blessed. For those of us who are in Christ habitually experience His creative and His redemptive power. Let me say that again. Those of us who are in Christ habitually experience His creative and redemptive power. So know today that you are in a covenant with the great eternal creator and redeemer of all men. And he will never be unfaithful to you because he cannot disown himself. Why don't you seek him out today and cry out to him? 
you will be heard by him. We miss you. Think about you often. Pray for you every day. Can't wait to be back together again. God bless you.